health is really important to farmers in North Dakota, and one of the ways to build soil health is to start reducing tillage. We're looking at a chisel plow with a vertical till in front of it. We're also looking at vertical till that we do in the fall and the spring. And we're also looking at strip till, the two different kinds of strip till units that are out there. One of them is a coulter system, or on this case, a saw blade system. And the other one will be a shanked system. These side-by-side -side trials will allow us to get an in-depth look to how many growing degree days are you gaining in between each option. Also, we'll be looking at very detailed into soil moisture and soil temperature. We're also looking at how these tillage practices will perform underneath either naturally drained conditions or underneath subsurface drained, uh, tile drainage conditions. So these plots are unique that we actually have field scale. We're, we're going the entire length of the field and we're using full-size equipment. And that's really important for farmers to see this, these practices implemented using field scale equipment and, as opposed to the small plots. This project is interesting because we're going to be doing it in different soil types, where we're going to be up in the Red River Valley where we're looking at really heavy clay soils, where they think that they have to do um, a lot of tillage to get those soils going. But we're going to see if we can reduce our tillage out there and still maintain yields or even increase our yields. Jody's worked really hard with a lot of these equipment companies um, to get this type of tillage equipment out into the field and get more exposure for it on the different types of tillage. So she really lined all of the equipment up for this project um, so that we could do this at field scale. And so our, our cooperations with the, with the equipment dealers are extremely important um, to make this project a success. This particular machine is, uh, is uh, the I-2100. Its uh, main function is uh, vertical till, where uh, it really shines as in, in bean and, and stubble and, and corn stalks. It has uh, the wavy cultures, uh, which, will, which will also uh, cut and, and, and uh, reduce the residue in the field. And they can also air seed with it. We've been in the vertical till market since about 2010. Uh, basically, it was introduced on the premise of talking to different farmers who are using vertical till today and incorporating what they wanted tomorrow into that type of design that we came out with. So one of the first things that we did is we've got uh, hydraulic locks on the wings that keep the wings basically running the same depth as the mainframe. Uh, we incorporated a design into the uh, blades, which are called Excalibur, it's a 32 flute blade design because what we're trying to do is be able to penetrate the soil and bring up smaller pieces of soil to move that on top of the residue for breakdown. Back Hero really sets it apart in that we use star wheels which are also on hydraulic pressure which helps to break up the soil profile in between the blades. So the nice thing about having a research and extension component to this project is that the research is being done and it's replicated so we know that it's, it's, it's right. Um, and then we take that information that the scientists are doing on campus and through extension we take it out to the farmers. This work will provide uh, information through circulars and videos that will be posted on our soil health websites as well as during field days. Uh, so producers can come out, ask the questions that they need answered and be able to see uh, how these systems are working. We actually have uh, quite a few different uh, um, areas of expertise. You know, I'm doing one in more in tillage, and Abby is with Soil Health and Cover Crops, and we have Aaron Day, who's the Soil Physical Properties, and we have uh, the cooperation of our farmers, and we help have help from crop consultants and it's and from the manufacturers of this equipment because they're bringing their equipment and following us around all these places during the busiest times of the year. So we very much appreciate that. So the study is a really nice collaborative effort between North Dakota State University and also University of Minnesota. Tillage equipment is expensive. So if we can take those practices and those implements here and test them for farmers, then we can start looking at how the, that equipment actually influences soil health.